All right, guys, uh, in this uh, video, we will see how to install Xdebug under Ubuntu and we'll be able to debug some uh, PHP application. And the interesting part is that uh, we'll be using a Docker container, so we'll try to debug inside of the Docker uh, container. All right, so those are the files I've prepared. Uh, we can take a look at them in uh, Visual Studio Code. All right, so basically we have uh, one index.php file with one echo and PHP info displayed. On the third line, we've placed a breakpoint in order to stop the execution uh, before this line. In order to run this uh, file inside of Docker, we've created Docker Compose YAML file. Uh, basically, as you saw, we are in the directory var vv html and then php debug. So actually, we would like to mount uh, this uh, directory, the local one, uh, as a volume uh, to be used uh, inside of the Docker. This means that uh, whatever changes we are making to the files uh, inside of our directory here, um, they will be mapped directly as a volume of uh, the Docker container. Inside of the Docker, we'll be using Apache Web Server. It will run on port 80 and outside and to be exposed this uh, port as a uh, 8000 all right so that's the most important part for the docker compose and now uh, let's see the docker file actually how we are creating the container we are using pre-built uh, php 7.42 uh, apache uh, server which means that uh, we have apache and php configured and then we are using uh, Paco to install Xdebug and also to add this extension and to be enabled. Uh, so we are using uh, Docker PHP extension enable Xdebug. And then uh, we'll run uh, the following commands. Actually, this is the configuration of our Xdebug. We're configuring a log file, also an address uh, towards which uh, we would like to connect. Also, this parameter connect back is uh, important to be zero for uh, Ubuntu and Linux installations. And everything we are writing into user local at php conf daemon uh, docker php extension xdebug ini. Uh, this means that when the container is created, we will have uh, automatically configured xdebug. The tricky part here is determining uh, this address. Um, actually, this is the address of our container. If we go uh, to our command prompt and uh, type IPA, uh, we will see that uh, we have uh, this uh, address listed as a, a bridge interface of our Docker. You can play with this address. Uh, uh, also, you can type uh, 1801 or uh, 1701. A lot of people are recommending directly to connect to 1701, uh, but in my system, that this doesn't work. Uh, so I used uh, 1901. Uh, All right, let's try now the container. Uh, so uh, let's see where is the Docker Compose. User bin Docker Compose, okay. Um, I have uh, two installations. One is for the Kubernetes and one is uh, for the original Docker. So I'll use uh, this one, user bin Docker Compose, and then uh, up. So this will read the information and uh, we'll uh, start a container for us. Uh, first, we'll download the uh, PHP Apache image and then we'll configure the whole container. Okay, the different layers have been downloaded. Now on this line, we are running our uh, configuration. So we are installing the Xdebug and then enabling the extension. And also uh, we are enabling uh, the remote debugging we are trying to achieve. And this is the whole installation of uh, Xdebug. It's precompiled. All right, this is interesting line we should read. Uh, in order to load up the uh, shared uh, extension library of uh, Xdebug, uh, we should add it uh, to PHP ini. Actually, this is added for us uh, during the installation and uh, we are just adding uh, several configuration uh, uh, keys afterwards. All right, guys, I had to stop the container uh, creation process and to restart the Docker daemon. Let's uh, do again uh, Docker Compose up. And uh, already it started the rebuilt image. And now if we go to our browser, uh, we should be able 
uh, to browse uh, uh, this image on port uh, 8000 and this is uh, hello from docker and then the php info as we have it here and now if we change something uh, for example new content and this is locally on our uh, hard drive uh, directory directly if we check it out on docker it will be uh, changed immediately so we can develop locally and uh, at the same time have this uh, running inside of the container and now uh, let's see how we can execute those breakpoints and actually stop the code from executing and inspect it here in uh, visual studio code uh, for this we'll have to create a launch.json uh, file and it's inside of the project directory dot vs code and then launch uh, json uh, it can be automatically created uh, when you click f5 it will give you here a configuration so for example add configuration and you can uh, for example use attach to node and it will give you a sample configuration let's see how uh, this one is filled out there are two important things here that uh, we are opening port 9000 on our host machine so this is in the visual studio code and we are mapping the docker directory var vv html uh, to our uh, workspace uh, folder so this is important to fill it out depending on how your uh, container is uh, created uh, just change this directory and uh, this is the port all right if we now go place breakpoint and click f5 to uh, debug if we go to our browser and click f5 we'll see that nothing happens actually the execution is bypassed so the problem is that uh, actually from the container we cannot connect to this uh, uh, port and how uh, we will fix this we'll first type sudo ufv status we have firewall we just want to allow the ip address of the container to be able to connect to our host machine actually we can use uh, this rule so this is the firewall uncomplicated firewall we are allowing uh, the incoming requests uh, from uh, our container this is the net mask here to any port which is 9000 so this is to our local machine and we are recommending this uh, that this is actually our x debug uh, so if the row is added and now we see the new status is that to port 9000 uh, we are allowing uh, computers to connect all right uh, so now if we go back to visual studio code uh, again place the breakpoint click f5 and uh, click refresh we see that the debugger works and here uh, inside of the variables uh, and the watch tag we can observe uh, what is happening inside of our application if uh, for example we set one variable uh, equals to one and refresh the debugger and uh, let's again start the debugger uh, we see that uh, we were able to catch the value of uh, this uh, variable and uh, that's it guys keep in mind that we are inside of the container and uh, this configuration of xdebug is uh, a little bit tricky but it pays off once uh, you uh, know what you're doing that's for now I hope uh, you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, if you like the information uh, you can uh, subscribe uh, to the channel.